Okay, I'm back again. I just want to. Ooh, I just want to um do this video yesterday. I had went to Daytona, and I went to this mall which had a a Mac store in it. And I love makeup. I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to makeup, but I can say that I do love makeup. I try the whole makeup thing in my bob, um, but it don't work. But I love makeup, so. I'm not a chick that like to do, you know, the whole makeup thing I need to put on my face every day. Like, I like to get up, shake my hair, wash my face, brush my teeth, shower, and go. But, yes, now I'm like, let me stop at MAC and see, you know, what color foundation I am. And, you know, just get, see, just see some things or whatever. So, basically, this video right here is about my ugly experience at MAC. And, um... So I get there, you know, homegirl's all made up. I mean, her face looked like she has makeup just caked on her face. I mean, her eyes were looking nice, but her face, she just had, like, foundation caked up all over the place. So I'm like, okay, maybe she's the wrong person I should be trying to ask, being that, you know, her foundation looked kind of funny. So, um, she's the only one there anyway, so I'm just like, okay, whatever. Let me just go ahead and ask her. So I ask her, and I'm like, well... Yeah, you can tell me, but I'm going to need you to sh to show me. You know, just show me how much I need to put on or, you know, just let me see. Like, demonstrate on me. Because that's what you're supposed to do if I ask you to demonstrate. You're supposed to demonstrate. So she's like, okay, you're at NW5 or whatever that is. And she takes the little fancy brush and she starts putting it on my face. Instantly, she starts putting it on my face. My face starts feeling really, really heavy. And I'm like, well, is it supposed to feel like that? Like, how, how is it supposed to feel on my face? Like, is it supposed to be feeling this heavy? Like, am I supposed to look orange? Because I started to look orange after a while. So, like, she did, you know, half of my face. Because I wanted to do half foundation, the liquid, and half powder. So, uh, she puts it on, and I swear to God, like, my whole face looked like a, a burnt orange color. And I'm like, well, is this? she's like, oh, no, that's your color, that's your color, you know, that's your color, yada, yada, yada. I'm like, but my face looks orange. Like, my face is not supposed to look orange. If anything, when you put on foundation, it's supposed to look natural. Like, you don't even have anything on, and I explain this to her. Because I, I don't feel like, if I have a pimple, I, I have a pimple. I'm not going to cover it up. I don't need to cover it up because I'm not like this girly girl that cares what people think about my face. And if I do get dressed, I want to get dressed for myself, not to look good for somebody else on the outside. Hell, I got a man. I don't need to in impress nobody. So, I'm like, my face looks orange. I turn to my sister, my friend. I'm like, don't my face look orange? They're like, yeah, that side look kind of funny. So, I'm like, okay, stop right there. Just go ahead and put the powder, powder foundation on this side. Homegirl takes the powder foundation. Goes like this in it really, really fast. This is all on my face. By the time she was done, granted, this side of my face looked it flawless. But, I looked ashy. I had like an ashy look to my face. And I'm like, so this is how, you know, the foundation is supposed to work. Is it supposed to work and, you know, blah, 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 blah. She says to me, well, you know, I have an appointment in a couple of minutes. So, this is your color. This is this. And, you know, that side looks better. I'm like, but this side looks orange. How are you going to tell me this side looks better when I'm brown skin, not orange, not burnt orange? So, um, she's like, well, I'm going to give you a card for your color. And, you know, basically that was that. So then I went into the body shop. There was this young girl in there. She was very nice, very helpful. And... Actually, she started telling me about, you know, the MAC products versus her products. And, you know, she was like, you know, your face is kind of orange. I'm like, yeah, she put on some foundation. And, you know, the, the bride wouldn't even give me nothing to take the damn foundation off. So I'm walking through the mall with one half, one color, and one half the other color. So I go, she's like, here, take this and, you know, wipe it off. You know, she gave me some soap, some moisturizer, soap and everything to get this shit off my face, which took like a good three to four minutes to get the, the product off my face. And, um, 
so you know she's like well here put this on your face and she walked me through I mean the foundation she put it on by the time I left the body shop I really looked like a new woman and I mean I had my eyebrows done up I mean not the eyebrows I had my eyelashes all done up and to be so highly recommended I mean like all the beauty stylists oh Mac this Mac that Mac this Mac that and to go to the body shop and get a totally better experience from the body shop it was just really, really nice, and like I really appreciate it. So I'm no longer gonna shop at that. I am gonna shop at the body shop and use their products because I just had a better experience there, and um, their products is actually natural, a lot of mineral-based stuff or whatever like that. And from the matte product that she did put on my face, I did break out on my face. I got like a ton of bumps on my face from um, that product that she put on that I did notice right after I cleaned my face. After I got from to the body shop, I cleaned it with some stuff she gave me. And like as soon as I took it off and rinsed my face off, like I had like a whole bunch of bumps on my cheek from the whatever brush she was using. I guess she don't clean her brushes after she do makeup tutorials on other people's faces. So that could have probably been the reason why my face broke out, but, um, yeah, I won't be shopping at MAC, I won't be using any of the MAC products, I will be going to Bath and Body to get all um, the products, because, you know, they're more, they're more healthier for the skin, I feel, um, being that they had a pamphlet there telling you, you know, what were in their products and stuff like that, versus MAC, which could possibly have a lot of chemicals in it. Some people are going to say, you know, that's not true with MAC, yada, blah, 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 they have good products, yada, yada, yada. This is based on an experience that I did have with MAC for my first time. So, um, yeah, other than that, I just want to put this little blog up and say, big up the body shop. Please do not sleep on the body shop's products. Um, their makeup products is just as good as MAC's. Um, don't sleep on them at all. They're they're wonderful. Um, other than that, stay fly. Mm -hmm.